Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Michael. I make videos like this pretty frequently. I want to say at least two videos a month. So if you guys are new, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and come check out some amazing content. today is is I purchased some items off of the wish app so I thought it would be a fun video to make oh I had a hundred dollar budget that was gonna be my budget of this whole entire video to purchase as many things or as many things as I liked that seemed in better range of quality so I didn't exceed more than hundred dollars this all these items that it cost me exactly one hundred dollars seventy dollars was for all five items thirty dollars was for all the shipping so the reason the shipping is a little bit more expensive is I paid a little bit more extra in shipping just so I could receive it sooner. I received all these items within, I want to say, a week. The only item I am missing is just one item. It is a dash cam. That one is almost here, but I received all four items already, and I thought I would just go ahead and make this video anyways. And all these items were for $70. I paid a little bit extra for the shipping to, for it to arrive a lot sooner. If you guys don't want to do that, you guys are looking at a a range of waiting at least a month to two months of for anything that you order uh, that's how cheap everything is so without further ado do you have anything else to explain oh but yeah um, like I said I purchased five items I tried to go the non riciest way I could so hopefully that that works because like I said it's, it's pretty inexpensive but let's see what kind of stuff we got let's start with uh, I'll start with this one actually Right away, you might be able to tell what this is. So yeah, there we go. It is a shift knob. So this is the shift knob I went with. It's a purple one. It's a really nice finish. That's the reason why. I didn't think the quality was going to be this good as, as it looked, but to my surprising, it pretty much is. It has some good weight to it. I would say it's a little less than a um, a pool ball. But other than that, I'm actually pretty content with how it came out. It's pretty nice. Alright, so next on the list is this shift boot that I bought. So before I had a cloth uh, shift boot, this one I went with, I decided to go with leather. I decided to not get red stitching because I wanted everything to match a little bit better. So this I mean this piece of chrome at the top, it's plastic. So I mean, that's the only downside. I mean it was pretty cheap, so that explains it. But other than that, the, the stitching is on pretty well. There's no tears or anything. I mean it looks pretty solid. So let's continue. Perfect. So this is one of the things that I needed probably the most out of anything that I got out of this whole set. So what it is is a multifunction wireless car MP3 player. Let's 
see, there we go, focus. So this is what I feel like I needed the most. And the reason for that being is because I've been without aux since I purchased my car. For some reason, my aux does not work on that car. No matter what I tried doing, I tried plugging in multiple auxes. At first, I thought it was my aux in particular that was wrong. Clearly not, because no aux on earth could get that car to work. Let's take a look at it. I mean, it comes in a nice box. Some instructions. It looks nice. <laughs> I gotta say that. Let's see. Let's see if I'll put it up right here. So it looks pretty nice. Uh, from my understanding, we have the skip, go back, adjust the volume. Sure, this looks like a little Wi-Fi button, but I don't know what M stands for either, so I'm gonna have to read these uh, instructions real quick, you know. It comes with the little aux port, so I don't know what that's for, but that was wireless. I really hope that I don't have to plug in that aux into my phone. So last box. And I actually will explain. So not all of these were complete car parts. This one is kind of more for the channel than it is for the car. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be for the car part. Let's actually let's just continue. Let's just open this, and I'll explain when I open it. This is one of the ones also I was most excited for too. I saw it, and I was like, that would make some really good improvements on the channel. That's a camera mount balancer, so it'll allow me to record without the phone, well, what I'm thinking is without the camera shaking so much. What's no. How the, do the instructions? Doesn't even come with instructions. So let's see. Maybe people are just, aren't as dumb as I am, but let's see if I can get this. That doesn't make sense. I'm actually gonna pull the photo real quick to see what it. Oh. And actually, I'm gonna show you the prices of how much of what I paid for everything. Let's start from. Oh, we don't want you guys to see my address. Yeah, this was I think was the most expensive part, expensive thing. So it's a handheld digital camera. It's supposed to look like this. So that's meant to give it some more. Well, I'm hoping to get more cinematic shots out of that. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. So I paid $20 for that. Let's see. This was the Bluetooth. I paid $13 for that. That's the dash cam that I'm hoping to get soon. 16 bucks. We got the shift knob. 16 bucks for that. Oh, wow. I didn't even know I spent that much on that. <laughs> kind of pricey a bit. And then we got the shift boot for five. So, like I said, let me go back to that first photo so I could see how to set it up, how it's supposed to be. How ironic. I purchased a bunch of parts for my car specifically. Uh, and none of them turned out to be quite as rice as I would think. They all came out pretty cool. The one thing that I didn't buy that was not specifically for my car it's the one that's kind of just bunk. A piece of China crap, as Mark Wahlberg would say. Figures! Made in China? It's a piece of China fucking crap! So, I'm having this issue where this is supposed to tighten, so... This is supposed to hold the, the entire frame of the mount. And it's just moving around. Not able to tighten it. Got it! There we go, sitting all flush, use the hammer. So what you want to do is you're going to want to, if you run into this problem, you're going to want to put a cloth over this, that way so it doesn't damage the metal on top of it, and then you're just going to smash it into place, and it kind of just sits back in a slot. Alright, well, let's see, I'm going to put my camera on here, and we'll see some, I'll try to do some like kind of cinematic shots, hopefully, it'll come out good. I really hope this doesn't snap and drop my fucking camera. <laughs> Alright, so this is test number one. So 
So I'm going outside to my backyard where all the puppies are. I'm hoping this is not a bad idea. I gotta say it actually from from what I was recording, I don't know, I'll I'll probably see it in the, when I'm editing the video, but it came out pretty stabilized. The there was minimal shaking. I mean obviously there was a bunch of puppies just like kinda jumping on me, so there's maybe some shake in there, but it came out pretty pretty good. So now let's just go ahead and install everything else. Like I'm literally using it right now, a little stabilizer. I'm just gonna just Pretty sick. <laughs> oh my god. People of San Bernardino, Fontana, IE area, I condone you. This weather is so hot, I don't know how you guys get anything done at all. <sighs> Let's see, so. Ooh, let me find a perfect way to set this up. Oh, also, if you're from the, if you're in the IE and you're looking for a pup, as you saw, I have more than enough. So we're selling them for 200, 200 uh, for a puppy. They are, there's 10 of them. So five females, five girls. No, five females, five girls. Fucking retarded. Five males, five females. Uh, they are a mix of Labrador and half German Shepherd. So those are very two good breeds, very obedient dogs, and very, as you saw, they're, they're, they're adorable. So on with the video. This is metal, and it is very fucking hot. So I'm hoping I could remove it. Oh, oh, hell no. Ah, fuck. I don't know how I'm gonna remove that. Um. There we go. Hot, 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 hot. Jesus, it's so hot. Ah, the burns. Ouch. Whew. I would compare the sizes for you, but oh, this one doesn't even fit in there. I would compare the sizes for you. I'm sorry, not the sizes. I would compare the weight, but I do not want to carry hold that. Hot ass shift knob. Yes, it is automatic, and yes, I'm putting a shift boot on this automatic. All to look nice. I don't care what you think about it. As you can see, this one's already faded in the sun. It's kind of just morphed into its own kind of thing. It's all turning brown. That's why we're getting rid of it. And instead, we're putting this leather one with knob. But first, I'm gonna try putting this on. Hopefully it works. I'm gonna read the instructions real quick because my camera's about to die and I'm trying to get this done as soon as possible because it's hot in here. So I believe I found out how to, how to work it. You see that aux right there? Not meant for the phone, actually meant for the little port right here on the side. So that aux goes into wherever you're, you have your aux on your car and you put in, luckily mine is right next to the cigarette lighter. So we have both and it's inside this little eye lighter here. So plug the aux port into there, the aux port goes into the actual Bluetooth device and then you connect this to your phone. Let's see if I could find it. it is, I'm assuming it's the T11. Pairing. Paired. Paired, there we go. And let's throw on a song real quick. I believe you can adjust the volume here too. Goes all the way up to 30. And of course, we have this one too. Before we get copyrighted. <laughs> I 
trying to it hang. works so I'm gonna stop that before I get copyright but it works guys so that's the best thing that I got and I'm so glad that it works because I've been you see how slow that was <laughs> oh my god ie these Hondas you guys are crazy <laughs> but yeah, uh, Bluetooth works. So happy. You guys are tired of me complaining about how hot it is. Go, go, go. There's <laughs> that water right there. might do cinematic of it in the next video but actually now nah, I'm just gonna end the video because it's so hot <laughs> all right that's that right before my camera dies I want to say thank you everybody for staying to the end of the video uh, it really means a lot to me that you guys are subscribed I have like 130 subscribers right now which is pretty crazy I mean, it may sound like a little bit, but to me, it's, it's a pretty good achievement. And, um, I'm trying to do a giveaway soon, so at 200 subs, I'm planning to do a giveaway at every 100th of subs until we reach 500, because that's my goal for this year, 500 subs. So if you guys know anybody, go ahead and tell them to come check out the channel, subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it. And yeah, like I said, my name is Michael, and I make videos like this pretty, pretty, pretty frequently. So. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace out. Later.